Let's now discuss about cohesion. What is cohesion? Cohesion is basically a measure of how related the responsibilities of a class are. Okay, I was reading whatever is written here. So, what is cohesion? Uh, you have a class. Let's take this example download and store. Oh, okay. download and store. You already see it does a download and store. So, basically, uh, it's doing two different things. Uh, if you look at this particular class and what it, what we want this what what we want this application to do is it basically downloads something from internet. It needs to pass the data and then store that to the database. So basically, what we want to do is actually download something from the internet, uh, kind of some XML or a HTML, pass it completely, and then store it to the database. So if you look at the current implementation, this is just a dummy implementation. I mean. Uh, but if you look at it right now, it's download from internet, pass data, store into method. All these methods are present in this particular class itself. And you have a do everything, which does download from internet, pass data, and store into database. So downloading from internet needs different set of utilities, different sets of classes, different set of dependencies compared to parsing it. So the fact that you're download the same class is doing all these three responsibilities is what this means this class has very less cohesion. So it is downloading, it's parsing, it's storing into database and a lot of other stuff. So it also needs to talk to the database to store into it and a lot of other stuff. So this is an example of a low cohesive class. How does a high cohesive class look like? So let's take the same thing and let's look at the solution for that particular code again. Is in GitHub, so you can look it up. The ideal way to implement this would have been to have something like separate classes for each of the things. So I have an internal downloader class which downloads from the internet. I have a data parser class which parses data. I have a database storer class which stores into the database. So the responsibility of the internet downloader class is ends as soon as it downloads something from the internet. Ideally, the written type should be something, I mean, it should be some other class or something of that kind. But, I mean, the responsibility of this class is to download things from the internet. The responsibility of this class is to pass the data. Whatever comes back from the internet, it doesn't matter where it comes from. The data parser, when it gives in some data, let's say it's passed some string with content, it knows how to parse it and return something back. The database storer class knows how to store something into a database given some data. So some data. I'm using string just because it's a class which is already available. So some data class, let's say, it knows how to store it to the database. And this particular class does not know the inner level details. All that it cares about is the high level process. So it knows, it takes care of, so first I know I have to download. Next parse, next store. So it just takes care of the high level method invocations and it does not really do anything related to and it does not do anything really related logic anymore. So this is an example of a better cohesive. So this example is in this example classes are more cohesive than in the earlier example. So cohesion is basically a measure of how different are the responsibilities of this particular class. This particular class has one responsibility download from internet. So it's highly cohesive. This also highly cohesive. This is also highly cohesive. And if you have a good application, then you should have highly cohesive classes and you should have low coupling between them. So there you go. Those are some of the important object oriented concepts that we discussed at the moment. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information 
including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28 Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.